This is what it looks like to be blown away by hurricane force winds. I'm inside the Glen L. Martin wind tunnel at the University of Maryland College Park, where I get to experience sustained winds that eventually reach category three status. Category one's around 75, category two in the 90s, category three 111, category four is 130 something. I make it to a cat three, giving the thumbs up sign each step of the way. By 112 miles per hour, I'm experiencing winds equal to my body weight, making my safety harness crucial. So it's, it's uh, physically impossible for, for one to stand without some sort of support. The university has uh, done experiments of all kinds. Anything that moves in air or water, we've probably done experiments on it. The 2,000 horsepower turbine can produce 230 mile per hour winds. And from government agencies to the average homeowner, researchers at College Park say it helps to understand the preparation needed when a hurricane strikes Maryland. So having something like the wind tunnel allows you to examine what's the impact at different speeds, what techniques you can use, better nails, uh, better types of roofing material, ballast that you can put or not put on there, straps as they put in Florida to deal with this. We hope that people will pay attention to your experience so that uh, they'll be more cautious and more respectful of uh, the damage that winds can do. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, I felt everything moving. This is a good way to know what needs to be firmed up for the summer. <laughs> Jennifer Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.